guys welcome back I am so excited to be back filming makeup tutorials I know it's been a while so today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite New Year's Eve looks using the new Gwen Stefani Urban Decay makeup palette so I'm starting off by blending into my crease two shades from the palette that I mentioned uh, they are Zone and Anaheim they're pretty much two just neutral brown shades and I'm using them to lay a base down to blend darker shades on top so it doesn't get all messy looking. Um, I will mention that I already primed my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and I just dusted some translucent powder on top to kind of have a good base for applying shadows on top of it. So next I'm taking a eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics in the shade Campbell and I believe that is shade number five this is my favorite shade for warming up the crease it's a very unique shade the only thing I can say is kind of similar would be max uninterrupted and unfortunately I believe that is unavailable now don't worry if this look kind of gets choppy at some point the more you add the better it's gonna look that's why I'm adding all of these brown tones because when they blend together they really provide a great base for laying darker colors now as you see I'm laying the color punk from the urban decay palette into my outer V and blending it into the crease I'm using this shade to really smoke up the look and make the crease look a lot deeper this shade is absolutely beautiful if you ever get a chance to swatch it, um, you really need to. It kind of reminds me of Max Deep Dampson, but it's a lot more pigmented and a lot easier to blend. So if you're a fan of that shade, you're definitely going to like this one. But as you can see, I'm just taking it a little at a time and I'm just blending it all the way from outer corner to inner corner throughout my crease and really blending it up into that camel shade. Now I'm taking an even more precise brush that is actually a MAC 221 and I'm taking the shade Blackout and putting it into my outer V and blending it up to just make the look more intense. What I will say about this shade is I have several blackouts in many different palettes from Urban Decay but for some reason this one in particular is a lot creamier and a lot easier to blend and very pigmented. Now I'm taking my MAC 242 brush spritz with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus with a pigment from MAC called Blondes Gold. It was released in their holiday collection and I am just patting and swapping this all over the lid and blending it into the outer corner. Now I'm taking another fluffy brush from Sigma and I'm just taking a little bit more of Anaheim and blending it into the crease to kind of blend out that black. And now I'm taking Blonde from the Urban Decay palette and using that as my highlight color. Now I'm just placing a thick line of liquid eyeliner from Kat Von D in the color Trooper all over my top lid. If you're doing this and it's looking a little bit jaggedy, just keep working with it and eventually it'll smooth out. Next I'm going to be applying a little bit of foundation and this is actually from the drugstore. It is the new Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation in the shade 20 Classic Ivory. And I'm just going to be blending that all over my face with my Sigma, I believe that's the F80 brush. I know this color may look a little yellow on camera, but actually in person it matches me to a T. Unfortunately, I am that pale. I am ivory right now, but... Um, Normally, I pretty much am a few shades darker than this, but as you see, I'm just blending that in, and I'm using it to kind of clean up any fallout that may have occurred from blending out shadows or um, laying down any of that glitter shade. Um, now I'm taking some of the NARS Radiate Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, and I'm going to use it to really highlight my face. I'm going to put it under my eyes and then also put it in a bunch of areas that I just need to kind of brighten a little bit to kind of balance my face out a little bit better since I'm using such a light foundation and I'm going to be using um, some shades to kind of contour my face. I know that it looks like I'm putting quite a bit of this on my face but I'm pretty much just putting it in the center of my face and under my eyes just to brighten that area and um, I'm going to be taking the Sigma 
F86 Taper Kabuki brush, and I'm just going to use that to blend in. This brush is amazing for blending out your under eye concealer and getting into all the nooks and crannies of where you're trying to put your concealer. As you can see, it makes the job super easy of cleaning up that outer area and kind of sharpening that eye look. taking a mixture of the Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder and the MAC Emphasize powder and I'm just going to lightly put this all over my under eye area to kind of set that concealer and make sure it doesn't crease. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. powder brush and I actually sprayed it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and pressed it into my Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal. I love using this product just to warm up the spots in my face that I want to kind of have a more bronze look um, and kind of have a base for my contour as well. I just pretty much tap this in and then blend it in and this sets as a powder and because I'm oily I typically go over my entire face with another round of powder just to make sure that I'm super matte. For this I'm taking a fluffy Morphe brush and applying some MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to set my entire face. Now I'm taking a little bit of the NARS Tahiti Bronzer in the shade Laguna and I'm going to apply this all over my contoured areas of my face just to warm it up a little bit and I'm applying it with my MAC 135 powder brush. This is just a perfect brush for applying and diffusing any bronzer that you try. Now I'm applying a little bit of the Becca Mineral Blush in Damselfly with my MAC brush. Now I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette and I'm mixing the two shades Pearl and Champagne Pop for my highlight and I'm going to put this on the bridge of my nose, on top of my cheekbones, in the center of my forehead and pretty much anywhere I want to have glow. Now I'm taking the color Zone from the Urban Decay palette with a Sigma pencil brush and placing that all along my lash line. Next I'm going to take a definer brush from from MAC and I'm going to press into my waterline that pump shade from the Urban Decay palette and then I'm going to take my MAC pencil brush that's clean and I'm just going to blend those two shades together to have a more seamless look. Now I'm applying a highlight into my inner corner and for that I'm using the color Blonde from the Urban Decay palette. Next I'm going to take a little bit of eyeliner from Urban Decay in the color Zero and place it along my waterline just to darken up the look. Now I'm applying a liberal coat of MAC False Lashes Mascara to my top line of lashes and also to my lower lashes just to kind of help them blend with the false lashes that I'm going to be applying. I just applied a thin coat of the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive onto my House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes and I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to use my little tweezers that I use typically for false lashes and apply those lashes to my top line. So no look is complete without a bit of lip liner and lipstick. So for this I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Mauve. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to line my lips. Story of my life is that I have the most uneven lips. So I have to try to fake it and use liner to just make my lips a little bit more fuller and more symmetrical. And I'm going to also take this lip liner and I'm going to fill my lips in just a little bit just to make sure that my lipstick stays on my lips a little bit longer. For my lipstick, I'm applying the Gerard Cosmetics Rodeo Drive. I do want to apologize that I went on a frame when applying my lipstick. I had my mirror way too low, and for future videos, I'm going to try to make sure that I pay attention to this. So yes, I know that this is not going to be something that you all have to do. I am just high maintenance and like using multiple products. And so I'm going to take a little bit of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light with my Wayne Goss brush from the Holiday Collection and then follow up with some setting spray. Well, that's going to finish up today's look. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and happy holidays.